Hello everyone, this is your ABC6 weather webcast. It is Tuesday, January 15th, 2012. We are under an ice storm warning until 6 p.m. tonight for the possibility of ice accumulating on bridges and overpasses, power lines. Time frame should be right around 8 this morning until 5 p.m. tonight. That's when we can see the bulk of the precipitation. Anywhere between a quarter of an inch to a half an inch of ice is expected. And again, the main concern will be the bridges and overpasses and the power lines. Places like Greenville, Cleveland, Indianola, Leland uh, did not see temperatures above freezing yesterday. So all of that ice stayed on those power lines and we saw a quarter to a half an inch yesterday. So this is an addition to yesterday. So we're going to see more power outages today than, than we saw yesterday and more problems concerning with uh, trees, tree branches and stuff snapping. This morning we've got moisture moving in from Louisiana. The, the moisture will be colliding together and then working its way on up towards the north and there's a whole lot more back to the west again as an area of upper level disturbance swings on in our direction bringing very cold temperatures with it at the surface and the upper layer of the, of the atmosphere our temperatures are well above freezing and that's why we're seeing uh, freezing rain we may start off with a mixture of some sleet mixed with that freezing rain but then turning all to rain or freezing rain and then by the late afternoon temperatures may warm up to uh, 33 to 34 to give us all rain before going back below freezing uh, later this evening to overnight. So if you have any travel plans, well, first of all, it is discouraged. But if you happen to be out, expect uh, or drive slowly out there and leave uh, three times more space between you and the car ahead of you. Brake gently to avoid any skidding. Um, make sure you have flashlights, food, bottled water, and blankets in your car just in case of an emergency. And also a good idea to have those things stored in your homes too in case you do lose power and watch your step. I see a lot of people this morning having issues uh, on their sidewalks and uh, and steps because those are the uh, places to be of concern of icy conditions to begin uh, to start off with. So for today, we're going with a high of 34 degrees. That will be late, late today. I think most of the day will be right around 31 to 32 degrees. We'll see freezing rain, sleet, and some rain mixing in there. With north wind 10 to 15 miles per hour. Overnight tonight, temperatures will be dropping to right around 30. A slight chance for some more freezing rain or freezing drizzle is possible and again the winds will be out of the north 10 to 12 miles per hour over the next several days we'll see a slow warm-up but each and every day overnight we may see some more moisture moving in for Wednesday morning about a 50 percent chance and we're going to keep a close eye on the system for Thursday right now we're going with a little bit of a rain snow mix uh, but some of the models have been kind of decreasing on that with highs right around 48 degrees and then eventually look at that we see the sun popping up with temperatures back to 53 on Saturday and then cooling off next week back into the 40s this is your ABC6 weather webcast. I'm meteorologist Jonathan Went. Stay safe out there.